Renowned for its wildlife and breathtaking scenery, South Africa is struggling to recover from crippling blow coronavirus dealt to a tourism industry that directly accounts for 3% of the nation's economy and prior to the pandemic was one of the few employment bright spots, providing more than 700,000 jobs. Shut off from the rest of the world for most of 2020 and then blacklisted by several governments over the discovery of beta variant. In December, South Africa is slowly starting to see a trickle of high paying foreign visitors as infection rates fall. Travelers coming from Europe and the US, South Africa's biggest tourism markets, along with the UK, can currently holiday and then self-isolate at home upon return, a hassle that some are prepared to take. But the UK has kept South Africa on its red list of high-risk countries, meaning anyone arriving from South Africa is forced to quarantine in a hotel for 10 days, costing more than $2,400 per person. The stratospheric cost rules the country out for most British tourists. With more than 400,000 visitors a year in pre-pandemic times, the UK was South Africa's biggest source of long-haul travellers, especially during the Northern Hemisphere winter. Vaccinations, meanwhile, are picking up after a slow start, with around 20% of South African adults now fully jabbed.